Well, it's time to spray Roundup. In fact, you've probably already been spraying some Roundup on your farm. But the question is, what are you adding to the Roundup to make it work well? Let's talk about Roundup adjuvants a little bit. Okay, we aren't talking about another uh, chemical to add a different mode of action or something like that. We're talking about just spraying Roundup. And there's so many calls and emails that we get every year and so many people that we talk to that say, man, that Roundup just isn't working. And one of the things that we're finding is guys are just going out spraying Roundup and that's it. They aren't putting yep. anything with it. Well, I, I think the marketing misleads a lot of people because they'll say, it's fully loaded. Oh, and yeah. so I, I love these conversations <laughs> with guys. They say, well, why do I need to add anything? My Roundup, you know, they say it's fully loaded. Even if it's a generic Roundup now, they'll say, oh, it's fully loaded. <laughs> well, what does that mean? Well, it, it's, it's interesting. There's a few things that aren't going to be in any glyphosate, and one of those things is nitrogen. None of the glyphosate formulations have any nitrogen in them, and when you're using them out in the field, there are some weeds that are very nitrogen sensitive. Like, give me an got, example. If you've two. got some nitrogen in there, like with water hemp and velvet leaf, yep. are good examples. Nitrogen really adds to the control. So for us, it's pretty easy. We're throwing in some ammonium sulfate on our farm, and we're using about 17 pounds per 100 gallons of water. And at that rate, we're getting a little better intake on some of these weeds that are sensitive to that nitrogen and really like to take that in. Hey. What the heck? It doesn't cost much money. We get the weeds to take it in, they die. Okay. It works good. Yep, that's fine for the weed control. Now let's look at another thing. How about the water you're throwing in with the Roundup? You know, on our farm, we have pretty hard water. There's a lot of calcium, magnesium, pretty iron, hard water. other things. Yeah, it's <laughs> really hard. But anyway, even if your water isn't all that hard, there's always some calcium and magnesium in there. And what happens with the calcium and magnesium, they can actually bind to that Roundup and make it ineffective. So what you want to do is you you want to put in a sequestering agent to tie up the calcium and magnesium before it adversely affects that Roundup. Here again, that's where ammonium sulfate works pretty well. That sulfate that's in there can bind very easily with calcium, magnesium, and some of those other free ions in the water so it doesn't hurt the performance of your Roundup. Well, there's certainly some liquid products like Sequester, for example, that will tie up those hard water ions and stop them from tying up some of your Roundup. So the, there are but, liquid alternatives yeah, but the, if you don't want to use ammonium uh, sulfate. Yeah, but the problem is it's not true ammonium sulfate. So we don't have the degree of nitrogen that you have in there to help on the nitrogen sensitive weeds. And the other thing, when we're using ammonium sulfate, you know, I realize you're thinking of it as an adjuvant for Roundup, but let's think of it from the fertilizer standpoint for just a second too. Nitrogen is good for your crop, right? Sulfur is good for your crop, right? Okay, so those things are gonna help benefit your crop. The other thing is they actually will speed up the uh, performance of the Roundup in the plant. The reason why is it'll help the plant grow a little bit faster and move that Roundup to the growing point just a little quicker in the weed. So you get a little better plant recovery from your Roundup crops so it doesn't adversely affect the Roundup crops and to get a little better weed performance when you have some ammonium sulfate okay, in Okay, so there's some benefits with ammonium sulfate, but that doesn't help that product stick or spread out on the leaves better. Yeah, now, you know what? There isn't a non-ionic surfactant in Roundup. <laughs> why not? not? Why there not? There isn't any. It's cationic surfactant. And that's why if you're adding tank mix partners, like let's say it's Select Max or Status or Callisto or something like that, you can't count on your Roundup adjuvants or the Roundup fully loaded part to help those other products because it's not non-ionic surfactant in there, it's cationic surfactant. It's a positively charged material, not a neutral material like non-ionic surfactant is. Well, even just spraying straight Roundup, I, I don't know how many people that I've talked to over the years that have said, you know what, I always throw a little bit of non-ionic surfactant in, like one to two quarts per 100 gallons of water, and it's like I threw in more Roundup because it just spreads it out a little better on the leaf, gets it to work better, especially when you're using turbo T-jets or air induction nozzles. We're very concerned about drift with Roundup. We don't want to see off-target movement. So we're using these great big droplets that really don't cover the leaf all that well. By using that surfactant, it's a surface acting agent that spreads out that Roundup, you get a little better coverage and I think a little better weed kill. So with all these adjuvants that we've talked about here, we believe that they are important to help Roundup performance. So let's let's just kind of review that real quickly. I know you don't like carrying the bags with ammonium sulfate, but ammonium sulfate's the cheapest and best product you can throw in with Roundup. Let me stop you right there. Yeah, you don't have to carry the bags. You can do it all right on the ground. 
Well, you can. All you need is a cone inductor. I mean, that's what we do on our farm. So it makes it a heck of a lot easier. You just have water running through this cone inductor. You dump the stuff in there. And I mean, if you want to work out, you can throw the bags on your shoulder and <laughs> climb up on top of the sprayer, but you really don't need to do that. So don't use that as a reason that, oh, I can't use ammonium sulfate. Well, you know what? It's so cheap compared to a lot of the other things you may put in the tank. You can afford to spend a couple hundred dollars to get a cone inductor and a little extra hose to run in there. Yeah. It's no problem. The other thing is if you're buying bottom loading. So if you're putting Roundup in from the bottom of the tank rather than over the top, you're going to have a lot less foam problems. And one of the things that we didn't yep. talk about, if you're spraying some Roundup, there a lot of times gets to be some foam in that tank as you're agitating things up. Have a little bit of defoamer around. It doesn't take much to do a good job. Okay, so anyway, we do recommend ammonium sulfate rather than some of the other products out there. If you absolutely insist on not using ammonium sulfate, just keep in mind you're going to step down in performance just a little bit. But there are some other things out there, like sequester that we talked about that can work fairly well. well. All these things are going to come into play when you have a tough weed like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 